I took an edible on the way here. I took four edibles on the way here. <laughs> and I washed them down with a Pedialyte. And I forgot that I took the edibles. And about half the car I threw, I was like, this is the greatest Pedialyte I've ever had. I've been dehydrated my entire life. <laughs> Uh, I'm from a little town, you might have heard of it. If not, you can Google it after the show. It's called Denham Springs, Louisiana. It's spelled just like it sounds, D-E-N-K-K-K-H-A-M Springs. <laughs> I did that joke in Denham, and a gentleman in the back of the room yelled at me with his entire heart and soul, That man had a pillowcase on his head with eye holes in it. <laughs> I'm so happy to be here and to be this stoned. Um, <laughs> I'm a stay-at-home father. I have two very small children. I'm not usually able to do this because as a father, I have to pay attention to details because that's what matters. Sometimes I don't do it very well. The other day I had to pick up my children. The weather was bad. My wife texted me and said, please let me know when you get home with the kids. No problem. I pick the kids up. I drive like the safest dad in the world. We get home, I text my wife, kids are home, and I turn my phone on silent and set it down because I'm gonna connect with the children. That's what I do. I gotta bathe them, I gotta brush their teeth, gotta read to them, they gotta read to me. It's like a two hour process. And when I got them asleep, I went and picked up my phone and I had about 67 texts, 14 phone calls, and 15, somehow 15 voicemails. Because not paying attention to details, when I typed in kids are home, it auto-corrected to kids are gone and then I just turned the phone off. <laughs> I was the least popular person in the family for like a week. The kids didn't even know, they just sided with whoever's winning and that's always mom. She said they could have been kidnapped and they said, we were kidnapped! <laughs> You're in your bed right now. <laughs> uh, recently we were potty training my son. Do you have any parents in here that have potty trained? That's right. It's God's way of making sure you really wanted them babies. That's what it is. How serious were you about it? My son was killing it. So I had to take him to the store to get some more pull-ups. And he asked me, can I pick them out? And I said, absolutely you can, because I want him to make his own choices, but also I don't care. So. We go to the store, and he runs the aisle, and he says, I'm gonna go get him. I said, you get him, buddy. And he ran down the aisle, and he grabbed a box, and he ran back to me. It was the right size. It was a box of My Little Pony pull-ups. <laughs> he said, can I get these? I said, you sure can. And I'll tell you why. Uh, he has an older sister that loves My Little Ponies. We've read every book. We've watched every movie. We've listened to every CD very loudly in my car with the windows down. Imagine you pull up at a red light and a dude that looks like me has my little pony cranked up. If you have an Android phone, it automatically sends an Amber Alert straight out. I said, yeah, buddy, you can get those my little ponies. Let's get out of here. And we head up to the register and he's so proud of himself, he's strutting down the aisle, he feels good. And we get to the register and he sets them up and I see the lady and she looks at the pull-ups and then she looks at my son and then she looks at the pull-ups again and then she looks confused. 
And I know for a fact she's about to ruin my entire day. It's a 99.7% chance every time you go into Walmart, an employee will ruin your day. I played the numbers. It was my turn. Fair enough. Pull-ups roll down to the edge. She looks at him again, and that's when I noticed she had horns sticking out of her head like a demon. I didn't notice that at first. I thought she was a regular lady. And she looked at my son, and she said, are these for you? And he said, these are for me because I'm a big boy. <laughs> Goddamn right you are. First, I'll be honest with you. First off, uh, he was shocked that a Walmart cashier talked to him. We've raised him pretty bougie, so... I said, it's okay, they don't, they don't all know. You can just answer. <laughs> and he said, these are for me because I'm a big boy. And even after hearing that, this lady who had steam coming off of her, I didn't notice that earlier either, but now horns and steam, clear as day. She says, oh, honey, those are just for little girls. Now, uh, I'm not as liberal as these skinny jeans made you all think. I just have great thighs and I thought you needed to know. But my son has never in his life heard the phrase, that's just for little girls. Because he has an older sister. And everything that child has ever put on his body has been a hand-me-down. <laughs> and if he finds out that sleeveless Elsa dress he's wearing right now <laughs> wasn't specifically made to show off his dino nugget biceps, Dad's got a lot of explaining to do. He's crying already. He's heartbroken. And I'm more angry than I've ever been in my life. And like I said, I'm from Livingston Parish, so I know I have to suplex this lady until she's dead. If not, I have to go to the middle of a Bass Pro and they shave my mohawk with a field knife. It's happened twice, not again. But... I want to yell at this lady, but I realize, and this is why I say I'm the greatest dad in the world, I realize in that moment, you're going to love this, that it's more important that I make my son feel good about his underwear choices than to make a demon Walmart cashier feel worse about her Tuesday afternoon. And so as calmly as I could, I said, no, buddy, those are underwear for anybody who likes My Little Pony. And my son said, oh, okay. And that was it. It was out of his brain. He had forgotten it and moved on. He was happy as could be. I am still furious. And I want to yell at the lady, but I'm a Christian, and I can't do that. And I, start thinking, I, don't, I started thinking, what would Jesus want me to do right now in this moment? Maybe she didn't realize the harm that she could have just caused. Maybe she needs to know. I'll politely tell her before I leave so that she doesn't pass this pain on to anyone else. As we're getting ready to leave, I turned and looked at her with the kindest face that I can make. And I said, <clears throat> ma'am, it's not like it matters. He's just going to shit in him anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I nailed it, right? For real. Yeah. Right? Jesus Christ, I nailed it, huh? Yeah. I knew I nailed it. And I knew as soon as I get home and I tell my wife this story, She's already going to be seven months pregnant. I know how it works. We're going to have to lock the two we have in a closet to make a third one. I'm already rubbing my sandalwood air fresher under my arms. I'm ready to go. <laughs> we get home. I come strutting in the house. And she says, how'd it go? And I'm already reaching under my gut to undo my magnetic belt. And right before I can answer her, my son ran past me and said, I bought girl underwear, but it's okay because I'm just going to shit in him anyway. That's what daddy said. <laughs> he just went upstairs and lived his life. <laughs> and I'm standing there in my skinny jeans around my skank angles for nothing. I'm glad he learned a lesson, but he could have paraphrased. He didn't have to quote me directly. <laughs> My name is Josh Wise. Thank y'all very much.